I'll be there for you, president, man. <laughs> they just try to... <laughs> they try to... They don't want you to... This got to be fake. There's no way this is real. Be president. This is fucking bullshit, man. I There's no fucking shot. You're a Trump hater. I'm going to need you to go in the kitchen and pack you a lunch. Go ahead and find you a nice seat somewhere and buckle your seatbelt and get ready for the fucking ride that's coming. What does that mean? If you're a Trump hater, I'm going to need you to go in the kitchen and pack you a Well, it looks like time is about here. And when they knock at my door, I will be locked and loaded. Period. I will defend my home, my family, my freedoms. Period. I will kill the enemy at my doorstep. Or they will kill me. God bless. Wood panel doors? Pick up truck. There's nothing worse than watching your country. I love that he's like in his car, but he's still too quiet while filming this because like he's still insecure. Even when he's in his own fucking pickup truck, like his mommy is in the other room hearing him. You know what I mean? Love that. Uh, additional points for obviously putting the, the uh, you know, Christian music in the background, like the Sagerson music. He's teary eyed. It's not the worst. Especially if you have kids. Got the security hat on. It's fire. Take a look at the optics, folks. Take a look at the optics. Take a look at the optics. This is what communist countries do. Take a look at the optics. Banana repeat. Dude. Banana. <laughs> Man, I love, I love, Cuban Americans are a gift, okay? I, I just, they're a gift. They're a gift. Public. Trump, 2024, wake the fuck up. God, he has the fucking Bluetooth headset too. It's just so good. Bro, he's got the fucking Bluetooth headset on. Like, it's, it's 2010. You know what I mean? You know his ass has one of the, the, the fattest belt, the, the phone belt things. You know what I mean? Where you put your fucking phone on your belt like that. Oh, it's so good. Because you and I will be next. This is the beginning of communism in this country. Wake the fuck up. Bitch, you don't even have slaves no more. Shut up. What do you mean? Like, who's coming for your... No one's coming for your fucking, you know, four bedroom that's going to be in a fucking sinkhole in like the next 10 years, okay? Don't worry. The only property you have to your fucking name, dog. Jesus Christ. People make it seem like the Brandon administration is coming after <laughs> my cookie cutter starter home. Like, chill, dude. No, you know who's coming after your cookie cutter starter home, dude? The fucking sinkholes, okay? Water. Fucking racist? Me? Are you telling me I'm a fucking racist? What? In the courtroom, who will be allowed to publish... Take a look at the optics, folks. His wife definitely said, keep all your Trumps in the garage. Oh, brother, I don't think so. This is more so that he has so much. He has, he has so much that, like, it doesn't fit in the entire the house. The motorcade, President Trump leaving New York City, right? He goes his motorcade. What we're going to focus on is that right there. That's an ambulance. It literally has the medical sign on the roof. 001 ambulance to be exact. It's going to go with the motorcade. And there's the rest of the motorcade. Just waiting for President Trump to pass by. They'll pan back out and I'll show you. They don't send an ambulance. There he goes. They don't send an ambulance for former presidents. Only for current presidents. Why? Uh, because they don't need medical help like a current president would. Now we're going to fast forward up here to 32 minutes and I'll show you. 
That's awesome. Oh my God. He's saying that Trump is still the president. God, I love, dude. This is the best part of, this is the best part of conservative media. It's like created so much incredible content. Like, I'm sorry if this is your relative that is brain broken now, but like low key, they're kind of nice with it. Okay. They're low key kind of nice with it. We got to let them cook. He's on the damn bridge. Here it is. There's the ambulance. Hmm. That seems peculiar. Why would they do that? Liptard's own, dude. This has been brought up many times, and I said to one person I was going to touch on this subject, so here we go. Thank God. How are you going to take on the entire U.S. military and the government? Well, Karen and Tony, no offense to all the Karens and Tonys who use their head. Do you understand? Did you say no offense to Karens and Tonys? Like, why do you care? Of course, he has a, a prisoners of war missing in action. POW Mia. How Mia shirt, a staple. Skin tight Oakley's up there when he's doing wicked shit. But like, this is why I always say everyone ultimately turns into a libtard. This guy literally just apologized for using the term Karen. While his entire TikTok video that he shot in black and white revolves around talking about how a... A, a guerrilla style warfare could technically defeat the uh, federal government where he would be killing like American citizens. Like, why did you have to apologize for the other thing? Understand how many civilians are veterans who had the same training, know all about the same machines that are being used today, and won't put up with that kind of shit. Then there's the whole. How many active duty will flip on the people of this country? I'm going to give you a very, very, very conservative number. 60% will tell them to fuck off. And I'm pretty sure that's a damn conservative number. Same. Them equals government. Number. If you're a veteran or active duty. Yeah. All the veterans would rise up and all the active duty service members would rise up and say, fuck off, Joe Brandon. We're fighting against you. Meanwhile, you know what would happen in this hypothetical fantasy world? Okay. The National Guard, some fucking 25-year-old in the National Guard would come and dome this motherfucker without a second, without a second thought, okay? Because he's stupid enough to get together with all of his PTSD addled fat veteran sack of shit buddies with the fucking arsenal that they've gathered together and, you know, run up on uh, a, a checkpoint and immediately get domed without a second thought. Shut the fuck up. Half of the dudes in your squadron didn't even serve. They're just stealing valor. You did, and now you can't walk straight because you tore a fucking ACL, you tore an MCL, and you got nothing going on, and you want to what, fight against fucking 18-year-olds who are just listening to orders? Good luck. Well, maybe not you active duty guys may not want to speak on this right now. Yeah, active duty guys and gals. Oh, he's so woke, dude. <laughs> and active duty non-binaries, they don't want to speak on it.
Anyway. It's so stupid. Let us know. Patriot 1975. Well, hey, friends. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one hearing this. And I'm going to let you, of course, be the judge. Okay. But I want you to hear this going on with this, of course, indictment. Before being brought to the 15th floor for his 15 to 30 minute hearing, sources tell Fox he'll face at least 30 charges related to business fraud centered around hush money payments. Now, if we turn over here, you'll see what this is called carefully. Media Row. These are tents and hundreds of media that have been here for a couple of weeks now reporting on what will be the first indictment of a former and current president. Journalists have... Uh a couple of weeks now reporting let's listen, listen to that again indictment of a former and current president former got him that's right fox news is telling us patriots activate trump is still the president he's the current president i knew it Like, instead of saying and, he should have said or. Like, what he was trying to say is, like, no current or former president. No no former or current president has ever been fucking uh, indicted, right? But instead of or, he said and. So it's like, she's like, ah, got him! Like, she literally said, ah. Of a former and current president, journalists have uh, a couple of weeks. Now reporting Let's listen to that again. Indictment of a former and current president. Former Journalist and current president. Yes. Current president of the United States, it appears. What a turn of events. Anyway, just thought I'd share. I know I'm not alone in seeing this and wondering the same fucking thing. I love these people, man. They're so sick. She literally thought she checkmated everybody. You know what I mean? Like, checkmate. Found them. Got them. That's what I'm trying to get across to people there. Right there. You know, they're doing it already. They're doing it. We're already fucked. Might as well go out with a fucking bang. And that's the point I'm trying to get across to people. Our generation, we are already fucked. We're already too deep to be unburied. Hold on. Hold on. Wait until it turns on trans people somehow. You know what I mean? American existence is all about recognizing the external oppression and struggle of being a working class American and immediately shifting your attention away to like completely unrelated matters, oftentimes just like random marginalized communities. Because the TV man that is quite literally working at the behest of those oppressors is deliberately pointing your anger in that direction. Anytime you hear a yee ass looking motherfucker like this go, you know, they're already doing it to us. They're fucking poisoning our water supply. They're doing it. That's right. Who's doing it? Trans people. They always fucking turn around and and right at the doorstep of class consciousness or understanding the way that the system is designed is to fuck them over. They turn around and get focused on some dumb shit like like a, like an ADHD person goes squirrel, you know? And we're going to suffer a lot of consequences. But if we're going out, we're dead we're done anyway. We're 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 eliminated, we're executed, we're Unalived. Anyway. So go out like a fucking warrior. 
Go out like a man. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Yeah, the funniest part about this, or I guess the saddest, is that due to their inability to comprehend who is, like, responsible for their demise, what he ends up advocating for is fucking suicide by a cop after trying to kill his ex-wife at her place of business. You know what I mean? That's how this usually goes. That's awesome. I'm concerned about Donald Trump getting arrested. Why? It doesn't matter who the president is anymore. I'm going to tell you something, and I think it's okay for me to say it now. I think the cat is about out of the bag. Like, this guy, oh my God, he's wearing a Rick and Morty shirt. Okay. Dude, everyone's a liberal. Everyone's a liberal. Everyone's a liberal. Everyone's a liberal. This guy is no different than like the, hmm, you should go out and fucking vote. Like, that, that person, like, this is the fucking Republican version of that, dude. That's it. You know he loves being a pickle, Morty. Like, he's literally, his cadence is exactly the fucking same. I think there's a lot of people that probably already noticed this. And I'm sure if you use your brain or your eyeballs, you'll be able to tell this too. Newsflash. It's all fake. Like, the, the words are different, obviously, but, like, the cadence and the attitude is the I identical attitude. It's, mo it's liberal monoculture turning every fucking facet of American existence into the same guy, okay? The same fucking guy. Like, obviously, he's a schizophrenic Republican reactionary, so obviously he's going to say some shit like, you know, it's a show, the presidents, uh, you know, haven't been real since, like, 1889 or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? But, like, look at the attitude. It's fake. You have people up behind the podiums at Congress, at the White House, supposedly, and it's fake. It's a big show. I know. I, you sound like a crazy person. Sure. I, I guess. I Fine. But it... it, it You've seen the masks. Their faces don't look the same. Their head looks different. John Fetterman just got a head transplant. It's fake. It doesn't matter. So, what's really happening? What if I told you there's a big continuity of government plan and they pretended that the Biden regime took over? What if I told you that most of those people are wearing masks? What if I told you that they're using voice AI technology and CGI? Next level stuff. Even Hollywood doesn't like to put it out because, you know. Dude, come on. I mean, this is awesome. Head transplant. I think he missed his men for the past little while. Brother, it's very obvious to me that you get your news here, and I haven't been doing a lot of hogwash lately. But that is a very common talking point among the right wing with respect to John Fetterman. That's not a joke. People literally think John Fetterman has been swapped out with a body double. That's not a joke. Yeah. Okay, cat turd. Miracle, in only three weeks, John Fetterman got a total head replacement. Man, he has some good doctors. 61,000 likes. Please learn about focal lengths of camera lenses and now how they impact photos of people. I'm beg begging you, begging. 500 likes. Get owned, libtard. Talking about fucking focal lengths. Unless that means 
Skull signs, I don't give a fuck. The internet will engender an engaged populace of critical thinkers primed to question perceived notions. Chat, there are unironically thousands of people who think John Fetterman's got body swapped. QAnon spent the weekend spreading a John Fetterman body double conspiracy theory. Uh, despite this, see that yeah that that tweet. Let's see how many fucking likes this tweet got. Seventy one thousand likes. This tweet got eight thousand likes. Higher the like. means he's more true okay everybody knows this the higher amount of likes indicates that cat dirt is closer to the fucking truth didn't libs think melania got body swapped too yes because all conservatives and liberals alike are the same person all americans because of how far removed they are from any kind of material solutions to the ongoing inequalities that they experience become slowly but surely more and more insane. They don't have anything. They are powerless. They recognize their powerlessness. And they ultimately become schizophrenic. Liberals do it too. But usually, they'll snap out of it a little bit better or have better ways of, I guess, normalizing their rhetoric. You know, mainstream media and the credible institutions will oftentimes go to different lengths to justify a lot of the, uh, the, the hysteria that liberals feel, okay? What do I mean by that? Like, you know, look no further than um, how much... Mainstream media has lent credence to any number of different conspiracy theories with respect to Russia. And how Russia has uh, absolutely controlled Donald Trump this entire time. That's it. I think a DNA sample is in order here. Lol, that's not Fetterman on the right, tweeted Juanita Broderick, a former nurse who accused former President Bill Clinton of rape and more who recently has spoken to many QAnon events. They literally replaced Fetterman. This is insane. Lawyer and former Republican congressional candidate Jason Roberge tweeted while actor and conspiracy theorist uh, Randy Quaid simply retweeted, this is not Fetterman. Those who don't know how to critically think through situations that spout whatever conspiracy theory aligns with their confirmation bias are fueling the mainstream media attacks against all of us. Jordan Sather, a QAnon promoter and grifter, posted Telegram, posted on Telegram on Sunday. Betterman is being hidden for the public because he would make a fool of himself. But to automatically spout clone or body double is not showing any advancement or thought or research. Jordan Sather seemingly is a uh, smarter of the QAnon weirdos and has decided to take an approach that I would consider to be lackluster. Clearly, Jordan Sather has been compromised. Patriots rise up. Let's watch the rest of this homemade stitch, though. I don't know what a homemade stitch is, but... No, then people would know. He said it doesn't really matter who is the president. Fact is, Trump won. He did. And you're watching a big show, a movie. There's actors. They're wearing face masks. They, you'd be surprised who's all 
behind it. And you'll see it. You'll see it soon. It's all coming out. Why? Because America needed to be woken up. You need to see what socialism and communism would actually look like here in the United States. Yeah, this is what it looks like. That's why America woke up and we're like, oh, we're rejecting socialism and communism. Which is something we definitely are experiencing here in America. Holy fuck. You got a bunch of good guys wearing masks that are reading scripts to show. The problem is like, think it through, my man. Think it through. Like, what do you mean? So you're saying like, you know, like... Jason Spencer and uh, what's all these other like fucking losers are actually still in the Biden administration, but they're like purposely creating communism in the United States of America and like harming Americans by doing communism, which is what they're doing um, specifically so they can teach you Americans a lesson about how bad it is. Cool stuff. Pertaining to the matter of Donald Trump's indictment, don't worry, he will be set free. You know who else was arrested the same week as Easter under false pretenses? Jesus Christ. You connect the dots. God wins. God is on our side. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless Donald Trump. Right. Jesus Christ. Look, I'm not saying President Trump writes up there with Jesus Christ, but Jesus was also persecuted for crimes. Bro, you are shaking too hard, brother. You are way too old to be doing photos like this, to be doing fucking self-filmed iPhone camera footage that you upload to TikTok. He didn't like commit. And look how that turned out for us. We got you back, Mr. President. Do you believe that God will protect Trump from this evil? I do. I got a question for you. Do you believe... If you're staying silent in this war between good and evil, because it's too hard for you to speak up, your children are the ones who are going to have to pay for that. It's for the DA in New York. Well, you want to tote around and play your games with Trump to push an agenda that's complete BS, you might hold other people accountable as well. If memory serves me right, Hillary had how many Marines die on her watch and got how many fucking handouts? She literally doesn't know the number. That's why she's saying, like, how many Marines? Like, first of all, she's talking about Benghazi, which would be four, right? Wasn't it four? I think it was four. From who knows? Um, and while we're on the subject of the Bidens, just found out that they're receiving money, multiple people in his family from China while he's selling us to China. So if you're going to hold people accountable, you, hold, you better hold them all accountable. Because God knows they've got skeletons in their closet. Sure. Do <laughs> Just checking in on my left wing friends says Trump won't be arrested today because you got nothing on him, unlike Joe and <laughs> Big Country 79. Following me for a while, know that I love a good conspiracy theory, but this one hit just a little bit different today. Ex again, everyone's a liberal. Everyone's a liberal. My man's got gauges on. Everyone's a lib. Aesthetics of liberalism are far too powerful. Okay? got a fucking nose ring got the gauges on you know i i'm a bit of an astros fan myself after uh the events that took place over the course of the past couple of weeks so i'm not gonna shit on that i also am a hot girl but that's besides the point today so i'm sure we all know donald trump is in new york dealing with this bullshit indictment his motorcade was seen leaving the airport and heading to Trump Tower. While I was watching this... I <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know why you... 
Not your average African. I don't know why you posted the sussy and the looking emos. I don't know what the fuck that's about. I just, I've been a diehard fan of the Astros. I noticed something just a little bit off. We'll watch it together, see if you notice it too. All right, so the video starts off, nothing out of the ordinary. You've got your local PD. You've got your lead cars, which usually house your secret service, security detail, etc. Please tell me this is the ambulance uh, theory again, because I really like it. It's a lot of secret service for a civilian. Wait, what? Bro, what do you mean? It's the former president. Then you've got things like communication vans. You've got these extra cars inside the motorcade that are not normal for a citizen. That's a lot of vehicles for a citizen. And there's the presidential limo right there. And here's where shit gets funky. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Why? Why is there an ambulance following a presidential motorcade? And I don't want to hear bullshit about Donald Trump is boisterous or, or, or whatever. That is a presidential motorcade. That's right. Because he's the president still. Dude, he's the president. Like, that's Patriots Rise Up. Everybody, understand, what you are witnessing is the President of the United States of America. That is literally the definition of a presidential motorcade. Look it up. President Obama, when he was in office, he was, he was known for this massive entourage like this that had all kinds of vehicles in it. His motorcade looks exactly like this. He's literally stating... That pre Donald Trump is still the current president because his motorcade features a fucking ambulance, dude. Look it up. It's motorcade. Why is there an ambulance following a fucking citizen? I'll fucking tell you why. Because that man is your commander. Bro, dude, what are they putting in the water? What? What is going on? Someone explain to me how, I mean, I, I, what is it? Is it like that your your imagination was stunted earlier on? Did you get hit in the head as a child and you, you did a no growth since then? Is it lead poisoning? What the fuck is going on? I, I don't get how this is any indication. Like this is the 100% indication. There's an ambulance behind the motorcade, which means he's the president. <coughs> <coughs> it doesn't make any sense, dude. It does not make any sense. It's like a fucking Hassan Abu broadcast without the top of the hour ad break that comes 12 minutes in. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for five dollars or for free with Twitch Prime. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You can also get gifted a sub. Here's a three minute ad break now. in chief that man is still our sitting president i know that sounds fucking crazy i know that it sounds crazy i haven't made one of these fucking crazy videos in a while i'm telling you that man is still your sitting president and it's illegal to arrest a sitting commander in chief so shit's about to get weird I bro shit's about to get weird for you every day because you're fucking insane <laughs> but i know it sounds crazy because it is. Because it's crazy. What you're saying is crazy. You think shit's about to get weird because you're insane. You're an insane person. And, like, normal things that are happening are somehow impossible for you to comprehend. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Like this video. Share this video. Comment on this video. I want to know everybody's thoughts. If you think I'm fucking crazy, tell me you think I'm fucking crazy. You're not going to hurt my... This whole entire time, 
I thought Stormy Daniels was a senator or a uh, what a House member. Something to do with government. I had no idea that she was who she was. So this whole thing about Trump is got to be staged. I mean, it's got to be staged. Do you, what do you think? What do you think's happening right now? Is he is he putting his wardrobe together? Is he? Who knows? Who knows what he's doing? But uh, I just thought I'd let you know that in case it matters, it helps you in some way. That to know that I thought Stormy Daniels was a member of the U.S. government. Thank you for helping me, sir. I I thought so too. Extra summons. Thank you for the ten. Give the subs, dude. It's like this is so perfectly American. He's like, I didn't know Stormy Daniels wasn't a wasn't a president herself. So obviously, this must be fake. <laughs> it's just it, it is American exceptionalism, American individualism, and American exceptionalism. Okay, the notion that like. I had a unique thought, and therefore, it must be serious. It's always paired up with the idea that, like, you are infallible, you can do no wrong. That's the reason why you see so many people on Twitter, for example, say shit like, well, the fact that I thought this could be true says a lot about society. It's like, no, you were wrong. When you're wrong, you're supposed to say, I am wrong. I'm sorry, I was wrong, I misunderstood. But nobody fucking says that anymore. They say, the fact that I thought this was wrong says a lot about society. No, it doesn't. Okay? It doesn't. It doesn't say a lot about society. You're just wrong. And it's okay to be wrong. You're just fucking stupid. You're wrong all the time. Fuck. Yeah, AOC could have been Zaza Smoka, and that says a lot. Exactly. It's another great story. This goes out to all the common sense people. And I mean, no libtards, no democrooks. Oh, he said libtard and democrooks. Shut the fuck up. No, he can't be serious right now. No shot. Nobody's saying that seriously, right? Like, no fucking shot, my man. Common sense, people. Think about our friends in New York who are rooting for Trump, who are behind him, and encourage them. Don't get involved in these crowds with these socialist idiots. Do your best to stay calm. Believe what you believe. Don't engage. Stay out of jail. And back our president. He needs us now more than ever. We're all smart. We all know exactly what they're doing. We know what they're trying. And we know what they're trying to get away with. So, stay safe. Keep each other's backs. I wish I could be there because I'd have your back. And uh, uh, let's pray and get through this together. Love to everybody. What's happening today is very dangerous for this. Um, how do we get here? Describe your video tag is the lot. Oh, God, that's so good. That's so good. You don't understand it. Oh, God, I love this country so much. I love TikTok, too. Fuck, man. How did we let the liberal communists, the ones that are bought and paid for by Soros, Soros is an evil, evil man. He is a very evil man. Go back and, and 
look him up. I'm talking to the right. I'm talking to the left. If you knew what he did to his own people, you wouldn't be so giddy. He's saying uh, George Soros uh, is a Nazi collaborator. That's what she's saying. Which, of course, like the timing of it doesn't really add up considering that he was like 12 when the Holocaust was happening. But, you know, fuck it. <laughs> right? YOLO. Why does she care? That is who is the puppet master. People like him. We have let the government, let these sick liberal communists play us for big ass fools. See, they don't want Trump. See, Trump, they, everybody loved Trump. Everybody wanted Trump to run until he came as a Republican. See, bro. Why is the light flickering so hard? Like, did she drop her phone and like the, the aperture is broken or something? Like the auto, the auto adjustment is just like going crazy. It's tweaking. The fix was in for Hillary to get elected. But see, people, there was still a lot of Americans that said, oh, hell no. That that thing cannot be president of this country. She is evil. And so they, they didn't vote for her. And the liberals went crazy. And they started in with the press and all this stuff. And they turned us against one another. They went after Donald Trump, the one that they, they used to love him. But see, he started exposing them. And they couldn't have that. Like, there's, first of all, there was no one. No one was like a big fan of Donald Trump and was like, oh, it'd be great if he ran for president as a Democrat. Like, that's not a thing that happened. Hillary's the devil, Bobby. <laughs> so they had to turn the people against him and against each other. And now they're in our Congress and our Senate and our uh, judges and uh, DAs. They're crooked. And they're destroying our country. We don't have to worry about enemies attacking us because we are destroying our own country. If they could do this to this man, just think it will be the right's turn. And it's going to be a tip for attack. Oh, my God. I feel sad about that one. This oh. is an open letter to our 45th president of the United States. Oh, God. Oh, no. What's, what's gonna, what's she gonna say in that open letter? Oh, oh Lord. Donald John Trump, dear Mr. President. Don't make fun of her for not having a top lip. You're being an anti-white racist. Okay, I'll say it. I'll finally say it. Is it not allowed? Myself as an American citizen, want you to know not only myself, but millions more of American citizens stand behind you 100%. We will not sway. We will not turn our back on you. We will not walk away. We stand firmly on the ground that we're standing on now, supporting you. Sir, it's so sad in our country as it is today that you have been persecuted and prosecuted and pretty much well crucified since the day that you decided to run for president of the United States. From the moment you stepped foot in the White House, the Democratic Party seek to destroy you. They have done everything underhanded, misconstrued everything, led the media to downtrodden you and ruin you also. And the only thing you tried to do was do great things for a great nation. You brought back God to our country. You brought back togetherness. You brought back jobs. You brought us back things to look forward to where we could prosper once again and people could own homes and become millionaires, which is out of the question now. And we love you for it. Many Democrats are walking around with their eyes wide shut, not seeing the reality of the circumstance and the situation and the dire straits we are in right now without a great leader and a great leader we do not have right now. 
You know as I know that the Democratic Party has done nothing but witch hunt you for years now. Every way they turn, they want to discredit you because you believe in the people in the United States of America. No matter the race, no matter the religion, nor the state. Yeah, because you get the corporate tax rate from 35 21%, which is lower than the average tax rate. Why did I leave you with this woman? So you can learn who Donald Trump's first line of defense is. We have one man in our lifetime, one man in our lifetime that had the nerve to stand against the elites that run this world. We had one man who had the courage to put America first, to put the West first, to stop the endless wars. And what did he get in return? Endless investigation. Like when, when he's posting this, you know, he thinks he's getting Barbara pussy. You know what I mean? Like, he posts on the timeline, he thinks, like, every Deborah in a 30-mile radius is, like, begging me in my DMs for some of the worst dick they've ever encountered. Okay? <laughs> Someone said butt rock in the background? Hell yeah. Brother, this is, this is like, uh, like releasing pheromones into the air, thinking you're going to have a bunch of Barbaras on your shit, like, uh, cackling hyenas, you know? Straight up. These people don't understand the irony of Hawk posting on TikTok, right? No. Name dragged throughout the media 24-7. Nothing but a constant. Like, what's going on? No, it's not Cranberry Zombie. It's a zombie cover, okay? It's a butt rock cover of, of uh, Zombie. Zombie. That's the that's the that's the butt rock cover of zombie. Constant barrage of insults, uh, memes, and everything else, all because he wanted to do what's right for his country. The politicians turn their back on them because they're too worried about their own career. The sheriffs, the military, the FBI, the Secret Service, all too worried about their own careers to stand up and do what's right for their own country. Filled with cowards that care more about their career than the actual country going in the dumps. You people should be ashamed. God damn, he popped off the military. Wait, does he have a head tattoo? Or is that just his hair? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, he does. Is that his hair or is that a head tattoo? Does he have a dome piece? Bro, do not tell me my man's got a fucking tribal tat on his dome. No shot, right? Imagine you coming in and seeing your dad making this video. The reality is the kids are not coming this weekend. Okay? They're already not coming during the week, but they're certainly not coming home this weekend. Okay? Like, no, no kid is walking in on his dad saying this shit. Because dads that are saying this shit are already divorced. They're look, this, that's why I said this is a, a alarm for Deborah Pussy. Okay, for Barbara Pussy. Like, he's already so incredibly divorced, perhaps the most divorced. Owner of a plumbing company. Okay. Uh, he was active duty. He, he toured. And by touring, I mean he, like, uh, I think he probably, like, fixed up some of the trucks back on the base. Okay. And he's back. Got a drinking problem. Probably a pill problem. Certainly divorced. He's a he's a three time divorce champion, and he's just looking for a nut. Okay. Yeah, he was de he deployed to Kuwait. <laughs> exactly.
hurting my mom's feelings. Wait, more hog talk? Okay, I, I'm I'm done as oh, shit. No, we watched already. This is the this is literally what we're on. We finished it. Married once, divorced twice, mall, Walmart manager thrice. What is this? Another good hog watch? Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump, please save me. Please save me, Donald Trump, please. Oh, that's the guy. Wait, isn't that the guy? Donald Trump, if you can Wait, is this the fucking guy that that did a live stream of him trying to do an act of terrorism? Oh, my God. Yeah, he was like the QAnon guy. I didn't realize you. No, it's not a joke. This is a real thing. Yeah, this was the guy who's like, I have bombs and weapons, and I'm going to kill everybody in D.C., Bro, so much terrorism happened, like so much right wing terrorism happened, but like in the funniest ways possible and in some not very funny ways that were devastating like El Paso, but like in some really funny ways like this guy, there was another guy, wasn't there another guy who sent like mail bombs? Was this the guy who sent mail bombs? Yeah, Cincinnati FBI offices with a nail gun. That was pretty funny. There was the there was the mail bomb guy who like who said he was Oh yeah, this guy, Caesar Sayok. He he went to prison for 20 years. Brother, he went to prison for 20 years for being too much of a Trump fan. Caesar Sayok, this is the guy. Do you guys remember this? Dude, so many awesome fucking pro Trump terrorism happened in this country. And we forgot about it because it happens so much. Boycott ban. This guy was like a total freak. The dude who blew himself up in his RV in Tennessee. No, the, the RV Tennessee guy was like, that was actual fucking, I think that was a suicide. I think that was just like, you know, a wrong activation, if you know what I mean. This was the MAGA van guy who had like an insane, uh, insane vehicle. XC is going to be very critical of you showing that arrest of someone who tried doing terrorism. He would be banned for the same. Listen, dude, I'm not trying to snitch, dude, but now that uh, he hasn't gotten banned, dude, if I showed a guy trying to do a terrorism, dude, I would get banned. Nobody. Nobody's giving me any awards for not showing a terrorism, dude. That part was the funniest part of that fucking uh, little 60 second sequence was that he was looking for props for like being able to avoid the dude jumping out of the car. Like what? The props is you didn't get banned. <laughs> like that's it. That's what you get. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you want a cookie? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Damn, this guy's good.